I'm attorney Jim Ruane. I'm a graduate of the University of Connecticut School of Law and the senior trial lawyer of the firm. My job, in addition to routine court appearances, is to coordinate the trial and motion practice for the firm. Since 1985, I have been certified as a criminal trial specialist by the National Board of Trial Advocacy. I am attorney Sean Barrett. I have been with the firm since 2005. I began as an investigator in the office and worked as a paralegal during law school. I received my law degree from Quinnipiac University School of Law. In the last few years, I've been the main contact with the prosecutor's investigation staff, and I have developed relationships with the state's inspectors to enable me to gain access to reports and videotapes that might take other lawyers longer to get. This means we can start working on your defense right away, rather than waiting to have them be ready for us. There is certainly no shortage of criminal attorneys who are willing to tell you war stories about all the trials they have been through. Certainly trial experience is valuable, and we have it. But at Ruane Attorneys, we want to avoid a trial if we can. In your situation, you don't need a general practice lawyer or even a general criminal lawyer. You need a lawyer who knows the laws and defenses to your case. Here is where the Ruane difference comes into play. We already have a reputation for fighting and winning a trial. Our lawyers have tried dozens of cases and continue to go to trial every year on cases that cannot be resolved any other way. Because we have a reputation for going to trial, we cannot be bullied by a prosecutor who will give us what we want. We can go for it and take it. Unlike other attorneys who have a reputation for pleading their clients guilty if put on trial, we don't do that unless it's for our benefit. This means that there is extra incentive for the prosecutors to resolve our cases or they will know we will go the distance. You must be aware that a criminal conviction can have serious lifelong consequences, which is one of the reasons why we fight so hard for you. A conviction can prevent you from international travel, destroy your credit history, increase your health and auto insurance premiums or even make you uninsurable, prevent you from obtaining student loans, cause you to be ineligible for certain professional licenses, lose your job, or even go to jail. Because the stakes are so high, we are committed to fighting this legal battle for you. The impact of a criminal case can create havoc in your personal life. If this occurs, we will guide you to the proper professional assistance because we are attorneys and not trained as social workers. We want you to have the best assistance in all the issues of your life. We handle your legal problems so you can address the other issues appropriately. Because you hired us, you no longer have to worry about the legal and administrative aspects of your case. We do that for you, and that allows you the time to focus on personal and professional matters. Our firm operates on a total practice management theory. Instead of having one person in the office who you deal with, you can deal with any one of the members of our office at any time on your case. From the receptionist, to the paralegal, to the case managers, to the attorneys, Every single member of our office is up to speed as to what is going on in your case at any one time. This way, you're not stuck waiting to speak to somebody in particular about your case. You can deal with anybody and get answers to the questions that you have right now. Eliminating the anxiety in your life is one of our main goals here at Ruane Attorneys. We understand that this anxiety can detract from your personal life, your professional life, and your ability to even sleep through the night. By retaining our firm, we put you in the best possible situation to remove these anxieties from your life. If you have been charged with possession of an illegal drug, one of the first things we will do is look for legal reasons why this evidence may be suppressed. In drug possession cases, the police may have cut corners on investigating and processing the evidence properly. Perhaps they searched an area they didn't have the legal authority to search. Perhaps the police lumped you in with other people who possessed drugs, but you were not holding anything. Seeking out ways to attempt to suppress the drugs which the police are putting on you is the first step we take in defending you. We keep an in-house database of Connecticut suppression case law so we can match your facts with those in other cases. We track the police officers involved in your case to see if they have a history of certain ways of doing things, things which may be unconstitutional. We do this to make sure we get you the best possible results. If you have been arrested for marijuana possession, the state must prove that you had marijuana under your command, custody, or control at a certain time. The penalties for marijuana possession depend on the quantity that the state says you had in your possession. 
If you were charged with marijuana possession of less than four ounces, you are facing a misdemeanor charge. This is punishable by up to one year in jail and a fine. If you are alleged to have had more than four ounces, you are facing up to five years in jail and a fine. One thing that you need to keep in consideration is that the field test often used for the detection of marijuana can also be triggered with many false positives. So we can fight these cases and win them. If you were charged with possession of drugs, and this is your first offense, you may be eligible for certain court-monitored drug programs to keep you from getting a criminal record and teaching you about the dangers of drugs and how to avoid using them. These programs, called the Drug Education Program and the Community Service Labor Program, were specially designed to help people avoid the black mark a drug record will give you for the rest of your life. By contacting us today, we can see if you are eligible for a program and help you avoid a conviction, if at all possible. Once we open your file, we take a number of steps to begin your defense. We file an appearance on your behalf with the clerk of the court and the state's attorney so they know we will be fighting for you. Then we determine what evidence we need from the state. We obtain your police report and any available videotapes when appropriate. Finally, we review your file to make sure all the investigated issues are scheduled, like roadway photographs, witness interviews, and toxicological results when appropriate in your case. Many people consult with us and have to make a decision about hiring our firm or a local lawyer who claims to have special relationships with prosecutors in a particular courthouse. Well, first of all, you should know that we have cases pending in every courthouse, so we are local everywhere. Secondly, a local lawyer may spend a lot of time in a particular courthouse, but that doesn't mean they know the law, the science, and how to defend a DUI case. Many local lawyers feel like a DUI case is unwinnable and march their clients into the courthouse to plead them guilty. Because they have great relationships with the prosecutors and deal with only those prosecutors, they don't want to ruin those relationships in order to properly defend you. Instead, they take the path of least resistance and merely ask for a good deal, but don't put in the time to get the best resolution. Some people are nervous that by hiring our firm, it shows they must be guilty. They think that hiring a DUI firm will show that they have something to hide. Nothing can be further from the truth. Prosecutors and judges respect our knowledge and expect nothing but zealous advocacy from us. They know we know your case inside and out and won't compromise unless it's in your interest. One thing that is important for anyone facing any type of legal trouble to know is exactly what is the role of your attorney. Since you don't normally need an attorney to help you with your day-to-day -day affairs, sometimes it's important to establish the scope of what it is your attorney will do for you and what you will be responsible for. In any case, the attorney makes all of the tactical decisions on how to handle your case, but does so with your involvement. You are responsible for four decisions that cannot be made by your attorney. Those decisions are, one, do you plead guilty or not guilty? Two, do you testify or not testify? Three, do you have a judge or a jury trial? And four, do you appeal or not? Those four decisions must be made solely by you and cannot be made for you by anyone, including your attorney. Of course, we will advise and counsel you to help you make your decision. All of the other decisions, like pretrial and trial strategy, who to call as witnesses, and how to present your defense, are made by your attorney. This is one reason why it's crucial to have confidence in the attorney you choose. If you don't have confidence in your attorney, then while you are sitting in the lobby of the courthouse waiting for him or her to come out and tell you what is going on, you will go crazy wondering if they are really telling your side of the story and defending you. We stack our knowledge up against any other lawyer in the state and know we can help you with your case. 